Who Tab. Oh my, if you were to ask a Genshin player who the most popular Genshin characters are, one common name you'd probably hear the most would be Hu Tao. In fact, one Reddit survey from last year even listed Hu Tao as the second most popular playable character in all of Genshin Impact. Much like Michael Akoma though, popularity is one of those things that resides in the eye of the beholder. Which is true for whoever it is you've decided is your main squeeze. But in objective terms, in terms of cold, hard cash, Specifically, the lifeblood of the game she hails from, Hu Tao's a character that is bar none raking in some of the most money out of all of them. Now, what's not to love that old Hootie and the Blowfish, eh? She's quirky, mischievous, fun, her depth of character runs pretty deep, and she's got her own business running a funeral parlor that's been doomed from the start. Nobody friggin' dies in Genshin Impact! Not traditionally, at least. Does that make sense? I mean, doesn't it strike you a bit odd in this semi Lord of the Rings esque world with swords and magic and constant fighting that there is an insanely low body count littering the forest? And it's not friggin' play fighting either. I mean, daily quests often have you escorting merchants who fear for their literal lives. And there's no shortage of characters who would love to tell you about the just the incredibly real grieving process of losing a loved one. But think about it! When was the last time you saw a corpse in Genshin Impact? Except for right here. <laughs> what? Genshin's a T-rated game. I mean, it's not like they can't. No. There has to be a deeper reason as to why the bodies don't litter the streets. Listen, getting snapped out of existence isn't something I have enough degrees to explain away in the lore of this, this game yet. But the bigger elephant in the room is you! Cremation is mandatory! I don't care! I, I don't care how happy-go-lucky you feel like being, or how content you are playing pranks, or how seriously you take sending people off the other side in the most peaceful way possible. You still gotta pay rent! A typical funeral costs around 7k to 12k USD here where I live. Most of those k's are costs circling around the transport, cleaning, casket, slash cremation, and eventual placing of the deceased person. Take all that necessity away and Hu Tao is effectively running a public speech club. She also claims that the living pay them mora to see the dead on their way. Yeah, no, no sure. don't elaborate on that or whatever, it's cool. Going to heaven is like smuggling yourself across the border, I guess. What's with this anyway, huh? Resurrection exists in this game, doesn't it? No, I'm serious, she's, she's got a light about it. If we bury it, maybe it'll spring back to life. Yeah, the one you'll hear every few seconds if you're in a new area with her. Who tell can't open a box of cereal without contemplating life and sentience? This is... Stress, stress is the silent killer, you guys. Plus, she's got this whole rivalry thing going on with Chi Chi, who's... I mean, she's literally openly on try number two at life, and you're choosing to associate with her? Nah, man. Death, funerals, walk shame, hootie the bluff. It's either the worst business practice I've ever seen in my life, or the largest scale scam I have ever seen in my life. And I know people that still sell Mary Kay products. Well, let's stick to the original idea of this video. Hu Tao is filing for bankruptcy in about three day business weeks. What's she gotta do to fix it? I would say that the simplest of solutions is, is probably just maybe not having everybody friggin' hate her to, to start. Death. I despise Hu Tao. I cannot deal with that child. Whenever I see that cheeky smile that says, it's nothing you exorcists need to worry about, it just makes my blood boil. Oh. <sighs> Deep breath, Chong Yoon. Stay calm. Is Hu Tao picking on you too? Ugh, that prankster always waits till I least expect it, creeps up on me from behind, and then, boom, then laughs herself silly. Remember that one time I said she was probably among the most popular of the characters? Well, that only applies to me. To us. Us is me. Royally, the players. The ones that spent over a billion dollars on this game in 2022. Hu Tao is something of Genshin's Fousey too, or Ethan Bradbury. Or how about just trending online media of 2015? <laughs> yeah, Hu Tao is Genshin Impact's social media trends of 2015. Not only is she in a market that has no market, she actively sabotages her very solemn and serious business with every single aspect of her personality. Man, she really is social media trends of 2015. But yet, at the end of the day, Hu Tao's goofy self is the exact reason we dumped every single dollar we owned into getting two of her. 
Because she's not really viable if you have an extra copy and kind of stuff at home and hey, who needs college degrees? But people love a good trickster. They keep things fresh and lighthearted, usually as a contrast to a cast that might be heavy on the serious. We have been introduced to a lot of characters throughout our two-year relationship with this game, and while we've had a good number of lighthearted or even comedic characters, few have been as fun and fun-loving as Hu Tao. She carves out a region for herself on the broad spectrum of personalities that the cast of Genshin has to offer and makes herself quite comfortable doing it. So in all said and done, how freaking heck does Wang Shen keep the lights on? Well, I'll tell you. Money laundering earnings from our legally ambiguous gambling.